Alright, welcome back for the actual episode number six. I don't know how to count. Uh, so we have started our foothold in Africa. We're going to go for these gold mines. That's going to be top priority. Uh, our colonial range is now into the Caribbean. Portugal's already in there a little bit. Hmm. We're going to... If we're going to land in the Caribbean, because we are... We need to get Portugal under our wing soon, so that when they form a colonial nation, <coughs> this area will pro I think it goes to us? I'm not sure. But we're going to take a mouse if we're colo uh, colonizing the same area that they're going for. Um, I was hoping that they'd go for Brazil. But they never seem to want to play along. Which is unfortunate, because we've got missions that lead us into... Like I think we need to have this province right here. Yeah. Uh, I have an idea. Okay. In the personal union war, we're going to take this province from them. But that means that we need to have a province that we can take ourselves. So again, uh, it's faster to core than it is to uh, <laughs> develop one, colonize one. So what we want to do is, because we have enough range to get these guys, unless they go here, which we hope they don't, but if they move it's going to be to here. So we'll send a colony here, put the claim on them, and then we'll we'll jump them as fast as we can. Let's, uh, build a couple more cogs? How big is this? 12. Okay, 12. Oh, I guess we can move everything around. Alright. Uh, let's keep exploring. Let's go from coast. Doesn't really matter. And push ourselves further into the Caribbean. Sojola, Fulani, Granada. Stack that up. We're going to bring these guys down. That's our conquistador as well. No, he's here. Okay. So something that we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to make ourselves, or better yet, we'll just take this guy. We're going to give him the conquistador. We're going to walk over to land and those boats are going to come back so what that's going to do is we're going to start the search for the seven cities or whatever it is okay here we go now it's time so we're going to change this to development we're going to come in here it's 10 we don't have the money to bust that up bust that up <coughs> excuse me okay so remember this is this is uh where is it modified for quite a long while. It's been 20 years since we got it. It's taken a little bit of time to get this going, but hey, we're in there now. So we're going to boost it up as much as we can. We need another month. It's a half tuck at every point. We're almost there, guys. We need this two years, one year, really. Okay. I'll pay for that a little ahead of time. Eighty. We got two years to pay off our debts. We can seize. That'll give us back to six percent crown land. That's not very good. Yeah, we'll just wait on that. Okay, so they're across. We need to bring these guys back because they're taking attrition. And we're going to click Hunt for the Seven Cities. And if memory serves me correctly, where is it? because we have this native coexistence, there will not be things that pop up as we walk around. And if I am wrong, then so be it. 
But this guy now will just roam all of this, everything, automatically. And he's going to, uh, like, interact with the natives and stuff like that. And you'll get bonuses. You'll get a bunch of admin. You'll get a bunch of, uh, like, prestige and stuff like that. You'll also lose some, but you gain a lot more than you lose. So it's you're still coming out on top. <coughs> France is, is not taking any prisoners. Wow. France is a big boy. Okay, we're making money again. Look at this. Ugh, take corruption. That stinks. I think I can lower how much I pay for corruption reduction. Uh, Granada and Jolof. So if we mouse over this, it tells you where all the Jolofs are going to come from. So it's going to be here. You can also look here, it says Jolof. So we walk on the Wolof. And then we're going to get the defensive bonus, but we're just not going to suffer any malice. Uh, so, yeah, this doesn't doesn't matter anymore here. So now we can see into Benin, how far can we go? Just about here. This is like Guinea or something. Okay. So if you see that thing, pause really quickly, because if you have one claim down, that's 20, and then another one is 25. So if you can catch this before the month tick happens, use this, and then just pull them back. Is it zero anyways, whatever. Uh, okay, that's cool. Make it a little faster. Okay, so we are now going to send our colonist here. We're going to... Okay, yeah, it's all good. Kawa, new king. Mali, you don't hide anything? Because they're not going to be able to take this stuff. We should do Fulo. Okay. Keep coming in here. Keep moving this up. We could also expand its infrastructure. Let's see how far into the cup gap we are. We're not quite there yet. Feel good about that. Okay, let's reduce some corruption. Now we get a good minus five, whatever. It's all good. Now, you think that you'd want to go expansion, but I don't. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't really like it that much. I really like this because of the way that I play this to try to like push it as far as you can. Um, and it's also absolutely terrible trying to convert everything, <laughs> but this makes that so much more bearable. It's also a little bit like, uh, RP with the nation, you know what I mean? A little Spanish Inquisition. There it is. But, uh, yeah, if you want to go expansion ideas, see my dog's even upset that I don't want to go expansion ideas, but, uh, I really like to go religious it's policy stinks in the bottom there you can see the highlighted yellow it says global tariffs liberty desire for subjects but this is really good so what we'll be able to do is we just have to send a uh, like a, uh, <laughs> a colonist to this province and then as soon as they touch month ticks we get the religious CB against Congo and then we can just recall that and then we can just invade Congo with no malices at all and, and we need to convert stuff behind us anyways, so it's, it's the way I'm going. <laughs> if you want to chill and do uh, expansion, then by all means, go for it. But uh, this is where thought, our thoughts may differ. Okay, so this is also a really cool thing. Um, so... There are seven cities. Like, that's what the, the, these guys are doing. Where are they? 
they're hunting for the seven cities. So this is, yeah, we're gonna take that. Whatever. We're almost making money. Okay. So they're gonna get there in three days. We want. I may as well just go over with these guys. We have five k. No, we need more than that. I need one of these things to pop. All right, that's cool. <coughs> we made them pop at a higher strength, but I just want to get it over with. I want to be free to move. So we don't need to send these guys. We'll move them to a more convenient location. We're going to boat over here, and then when these guys get there, they're going to get there on May 19th. We will make our claim. Recall our guy. And hello, team. So we take a lot of attrition, so we lost like 3k men. And a bunch of ponies. Oh, our conquistador died. That sucks. That's even worse. So the conquistador is important for like maneuverability, so he just moves faster. That's always fun. So we'll let these guys repair. We're gonna let. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, we got a bunch of poke points. Wow. So we're going to forgive usury and let's do. Yeah, diplo annexation because we want to get Tlemcen. You know what? Let's start that right now while it's on the mine. I know that we're trying to build up exploration, but like this is the best piece of it that's last and it's it's okay like we don't have to finish out exploration to be effective uh we're gonna send these guys to whatever the caribbean sea we'll let these guys just a couple little bit Should be enough. Cool. So we can recall them. We can annex the vassal. Because we can't do that at war. You cannot start that at war. Wait five days. Oh, cool. They went to Kayor. Why did they go there? Oh, was this a different. Oh, they're both eight. Okay, so it was a chance between the two of them. They're both eight development. That's why it went that way. Um, over here. here we go. Portugal's getting going. See, they make so many settlers. We make ten. <laughs> Our goal really is to take land that already exists. We're Spain, damn it. We came, we saw, you have stuff, we want it. Alright, I went a little bit long on that, but we're going to declare it for Trinidad. Okay. Damn it. That was lazy of me. We just sat on Marrakesh too long. Portugal wants us to help them. Oh, may as well. God damn it. That's annoying, but, oh well, I need to unally them. I just keep forgetting to do that. Okay, so we're going to move the horses out of here. And then what I'm going to do is recall my guy. And then when they make it across... Yeah, that's 
I wish I could pay the rest of those little loans off. That'd be nice. This is just because we have a high attrition over here. Um, we can actually bring these guys back. Can I lose the range? Yeah, because we have facing from Portugal. Hopefully if I abandon that, we set for attrition. Okay. Oh, so now that we're at war with Portugal, I guess that's the benefit we can reach there. Fulo has seven. Fulani is... Oh, failed the agenda. That's, that's my bad. That's okay. We can always get another one. Oh, Marrakesh. That is disappointing. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, they might give me some of this. <laughs> I'm just really dragging my feet on Portugal. It's just not that big of a deal to me. Because they're still doing their thing, you know? They're still colonizing. Oh, man. France is uh, not messing around. Number one? Yeah. Good for them. Alright. So, that's the furthest core that we can have right now. See, now, before we were here... Now we're on the other side of Benin. So what we can do again is start our uh, spy network on these guys. <coughs> and then when we get there, we'll be able to take the coast from them, or one province if you really want, and then core it, and it will extend it even further. It's, it's so much faster to move than... Uh, just like actually colonizing the province because this is no big deal that we're we're spending this like we're that we're, we're not spending money on colonizing we're still making progress right like we're in the Caribbean uh, we'll call back Tunis okay can I get one more? Oh, eight thirty. Uh, but yeah, we're we're in the Caribbean, just as fast as Portugal is. Uh, they've got one province, and they make ninety. We made ten. So there's there's no point in ever just sitting around and being like, okay, well let's just wait for us to tick this up. See, like, no, nothing, nothing matters. Look at it's cord. Come back, we can bring our boats back, and then when we have this cord, we're going to have range on all of this. So, that that's the, the, the and if it, if it wasn't this guy, uh, this guy would have came in, and you would have been like, oh, there he is. And then you land on either one of these, after you've built the spy network on him. Okay, here we go. do that one yet because there's that fort that's going to delay our peace excuse me Portugal's going to really want that I don't mind yeah these guys need to get out of this war please see it's just my guys sieging stuff down like my vassals we're making money we will get this out of here Have this bad boy yet? Yes, we can. Here we go. So that's four. That's four. That's 
one was also at 55 autonomy. That's why it's not killing it. You want to have that as low as we can. So these got way too high. Because you can see here, this one has a strong seat of a... Oh my god, of an aristocrat. That's so bad to have on our gold mine. That's just from where my consort's from. She's from La Mancha. So her family has like more authority here. <sighs> so they increase the autonomy monthly. So even when we're uh, at peace, we have a big negative in that area. They got seven cardinals. I've got a handful. It's our relationship with the Pope. Let's let's. Okay, Mamluks. Can we money punch the money the Mamluks again? Can we? Oh, we don't have a CB. There's no way that I am going to uh, no CB them for money. Would be nice. Okay, we will core all that stuff, but we want to get this stuff done because this is going to really open up. It's it's going to be so fast. Everything that we can do just accelerates tenfold. It's like Molly's just getting trounced on. If he ever gets, like, dropped, you know what I mean, when these go away, that's when we're going to go. England, what have you not done? You haven't done anything. Oh, you can't beat Scotland. England's not going to fight Scotland because Scotland's allied to France. The old alliance stands. Okay, so we can do this thing, these things uh, to get us more colonial range. Uh, we're not actually... Settling, so that doesn't really help us. You know what I mean? Uh, there we go. We're out of Marrakesh. We got 17 favors. Oh, that's right. So let's... Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, wow. Thanks, poor school. <laughs> Look at all the land they gave us. Uh, that's, that's nice. Thanks, guys. <coughs> Well, uh, I don't. That's that's funny. Okay, so let's see if we can. There we go. We'll send this guy. That was a little bad timing on my part for that. Go back. Take some fortune with money. Thanks, boys. And then next month we can take some of their troops. Even though it doesn't matter. We have more than we can hold anyways. Oh. Oh, I thought they were gonna bring in Scotland. Why didn't they call in Scotland? Again, you want to not take... Oh, okay. So this 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 event, Byzantine Refugees, is awesome. It is 30 years of 10 tech cost. So uh, <laughs> that's, that's really, really good. You're going to save way more than 50 Diplo points and 30 Admin points. So I'm just going to let it tick to the year because that's when the, the thing happens. And I'm going to give myself... Just a little bit of time, because it's going to run for 30 years from when I click it. You know, we could just leave it off to the side. Oh, that's unfortunate. When are these guys getting here? 15 days, alright. So we'll just take that. That's that's awesome. So now we can make a claim against Benin. Uh, well, this is the strongest one. It's also a center of trade, so we want to take that. Bring this guy back. We don't need to build on him. We were building relations with the Pope. Let's, uh... Portugal's at war. With whom? France. Oh, no. Oh, no, Portugal. Okay, this is great. Forget it. We're just going to do that. <coughs> and then when we take this, we're going to get our... Uh, you know what? We're just going to do that now. 
So we got Restoration of Union on Portugal. Okay, so we're going to go to our access. And we'll get them on the next one. So, relations and this stuff. Just keep sending those things out. It doesn't matter. Now, if our naval force limit's not quite there, we want to start building light ships. We have a lot of heavies. Uh, we have the most in the game, I'm willing to bet. Uh, so you can go to the ledger. This will tell you information about things. So we can click on military. We got army composition so we can see morale. So France has the most in the world. Because look, they have Elan now. So they're incredibly strong. Okay, yeah, Elan is the second option. Um, so yeah, we missed our window to attack them. They have five more morale from their bonus than we do. Uh, then it's the autos because they have Golden Era. They have Golden Era as well. And they have an advisor for it. And they have the Pope Blessing for it. So they're gunning for morale. But we are just kind of base that high. So if we were to start aiming for it, look, like we didn't take the Pope thing for it, we may as well. Let's let's just take that. And let's see where it goes to. Uh, there we go. We jumped to second place with just 10%. So if we were going to keep moving, like if we did the 10% the from Golden Era and our prestige is really high so that's good uh yeah we'd be right there their army tradition is the same as ours power projection they've got a hundred percent power projection but yeah we'd be we'd be right there with france so this is why castile is just so strong like we are just so strong in the field okay it's only six all right, what we can do here is we can declare war against Gabu, or uh, against Mali in Gabu. We come in here, and we're going to beat these uh, rebels. And then we take over the siege. Okay, more rebels <laughs> spawned. But look, it, it advances the siege, so it went from 7 to 28 because we won that battle in front of, uh, in front of those guys. So we will turn these into um, like trade centers or sorry trade companies but for right now we're just going to do that so we can access the edict and I want to I want to convert them all it's it's just so much nicer <laughs> we'll, we'll convert all these things we'll get a bunch of Pope points I know it's a little bit more money but whatever and then we'll put it into the trade centers we're going with the religious route anyways we're going to make it look all nice Okay, Kong's up for uh, grabs. He's not building relations with anybody, so I don't think he's going to be able to get an alliance. Yeah, he's rivaled the major power here. So let's see. Yeah, we... Uh, we will fix all of this business. It's, it's going to be completely <laughs> fine. We're going to start making so much money. So what we could do here is we could I, like, get rid of these forts because nothing's really going to attack us. Uh, we're going to have to drop... Um, now we're going to keep this one just because it blocks off anything coming from down here. So any AI are going to get caught in that. I'm going to leave this one going, but I'm going to delete it later on. Uh, because, yeah, we <laughs> just get rid of it. All right, our advisor died. We'll do the morale. See, here. We went for the morale advisor. Now we're only 0.4 away from France. So if we were to Golden Era, we'd be right there with them. Just keep exploring, and when it runs out of exploring points, just, uh, we're gonna take the shit. So be it. Okay, hurry up, please. Great. So we come in here, get rid of them. Oh, sweet. That's just going to reduce the spots where their rebels can spawn. So that's nice. Unless it's like the primary culture. But, uh, so now we just picked up a trade center in uh, the Ivory Coast. So Portugal... <coughs> sorry, or Benin has the most. And we've got 19. So we'll, once we take Benin, we'll be able to get rid of that. 
Uh, let's recall this guy. We've paid for him a little bit too long. Now we can make an amphibious landing over here. So when we're ready to advance, we can move over to it. But I want to try to like, provoke these rebels just so we can get over here. And then when we actually start to need to actually like, start colonizing, we will just just get circle. We'll be able to uh, take these take these right here because like there's no point in taking it right now because we're not using it. So these are the things that happen. I'm talking about here. So we can gain 10 prestige. Why not? Now we're back at 100. Uh, we can gain 50 diplo or 50 military power, and we can piss off the Inu. So we're gonna do diplo just because we're ahead in military power, anyways. Look, look, we're, we're well ahead. We need to get this. We're current. We're 25% through Clemson. Take the boat points. Oh, see, this is annoying. <laughs> ah, for 25%. That's terrible. They're going to increase it to like 50, 60. <coughs> we do not want that. We're going to have to eat this. Wow, that is so bad. Yeah, Drunken Explorer, whatever. So how long do we have with these guys? 87. Okay. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to declare war really quickly against Sus. And then it's going to call in Tunis. And then we're going to be able to break them from this. You know what I mean? Because we can take the their good stuff from them. And then all these cores. But, uh... Yeah, we need to get rid of them. <laughs> They're just in the way. Round navies. That's not good. We want trade. Trade would be fantastic right now. Because then we would have one and one to be able to get a uh, really good event that happens. Oh. Where are all my troops? Yeah, this becomes the issue is you just become too spread out across too many theaters. So let's start grouping everybody up. Uh, how far away are these things? 21 years away. Okay, so Trinidad is now uh, colonized. See, we get more sea tiles to explore. We'll be able to push all the way in. If we look now, all of America is now in our range. And like all of this. We can now go straight into Mexico. <coughs> so we could... We, we can. We may as well. <laughs> we can go here. This is going to be a good one. Uh, I don't know when they last moved, but they're connected to another one right here. And that's a good little pocket that can start a colony for you. Um, yeah. These are little things like we're, we're, we're way up. Sorry, gotta let the dog in. Uh, we're gonna take this one so that we can make claims that go off of other claims. So you can walk your claims further than what you could actually reach. And then you can make claims on things in, inland from a sea tile, which is uh, it's pretty sweet. So we'd be able to, right now, okay, yeah, we may as well do it. Uh, now, because we have Cantor as a claim, we could make claims on these two. So I want to make a claim on Bamboo because that's a gold mine. And then we want to go for Bure. And then I could snake its way over 
to Lobi, but we're not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> we're back in the green. Rare cash. Actually, when can we get rid of him? Oh, terrible error. Oh, I should have made him a fucking... <laughs> oh my goodness. I should have made him a, uh, a general. That was a bad move. Oof. So bad. Alright. Tunis calls in the autos. Not doing that. We need to be ready for this as soon as we can. We have four years. We need another unit up here. Okay. You guys. Oh, that is the best timing ever. <laughs> I lost my claim. Global tariffs is terrible. All right. So now we have the range to take these from Portugal. And we just have to do it in the war before he gets five provinces. Because... If he gets five provinces, he creates a... Okay, here's a thing called Flurinomics. When you start taking loans that are way bigger than your smaller loans. So we can take another big loan, and then we can get rid of our burger loans, the cheap, cheap ones. And we go in here, it's now gone. We come back down, and... Oh yeah, we want to take this one. That's a settler increase. And then we want to take indebted to the burgers. So that gives us the loans again. We have 1300 So we come in here. Let's see. Our interest we're paying is 6 So we now... Yeah. We want to get rid of the lowest ones so we can get the most out. So this one... Okay, so we went from paying six interest, now we're down to two and a half. So we can be losing money and making moves, but it's just about, like, we're, we're, we're 40 years into the game. There's so much of this game left. This game is just about setting yourself up for the next phase. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a bad ruler. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. Yeah, we're going to get stab hit for declaring on these guys as well. Okay, so they're going to end up going back and... But now we have all of this explored. We can reach a lot of it. We are now ever so slowly. Getting our, uh... Oh, God. Okay. Great. So we get a bunch of... Separatists. That's awesome. Okay, we're never going to get our uh, religion up, or our religious points up. Oh no. 
thought I was being smart. They pulled the wrong one forward. Let's we'll get them out of there. I don't want to land on the mount. That's a nightmare. We already messed up that it moved the wrong ones. Or we weren't ready for it to move those ones. Uh, are we ever going to get a good guy? No, oh, we are not. There's nothing down here. Okay. We need to attack Fulo. Yeah, we're just going to do it for Cantor, because I'm not too worried about this. I just don't want to spend the points for it. Okay, we'll do that actually when we get the Bamboo Claim, which is right now. So 22 days, we're going to uh, declare on these guys. For altars, done. It's also going to activate uh, these guys, our subjects, to help attack. Okay, so we go Fulo, we're going to go camp, and all I'm going to do is just take this so I can go into the big stuff. So I'm going to have to siege down the fort, because they're not going to let me take land if I don't have any of their forts gone. Good guy yet? Okay, there we go. So these two combine the yearly reduction, uh, yearly inflation reduction. Sorry, and the trade cost advisor is they give you an event. Um, can't remember what it's called right now. Sorry, but it gives you 200 admin points and 200 diplo points. And there's a really easy and cheesy way to uh, to fix it. You can just fire the advisors if they're like really good advisors because uh, it like. At the cost, or for the benefit of those 200 points, you fire your advisors. But, uh. Oh, I guess we should have just gone straight to the tech core because this one's going to get sieged down from here. Alright, so we used Aragon to fight these rebels off. We've got three years left with those guys. We're in Africa. Okay, we're going to go. We're gonna move these guys off. We're gonna click this. So this means that it's gonna add a cannon to this. So we're now building a cannon here. It's automatically gonna walk to this army and attach to whatever army is standing in this spot. So the cannon is going to increase our uh, siege ability by one bonus. If we have two, it'd be two, three, three, so on and so forth. So you just mouse over this. This one shows your leader bonus. This is a blockade, and this one is just the current phase you're in. So there's again dice rolls, and then you can shift through the phases. You can watch here, and it'll tell you what happened and whatnot. Um, so yeah, when the cannon comes out, it's going to walk here, and then this is going to change dramatically. We're going to take that, because we are lagging in Diplo points, or 100 points. Yeah, so we don't need any techs. So all of our admin is going to go straight into this. And, I guess, coring these gold points. <laughs> <clears throat> so, we're going to wait. This thing's going to pop up. There's the cannon. Alright. Civility. Fantastic. So there's also events that can happen if you take certain idea sets. So one of the religious idea sets, or well, having the religious idea sets, will give you events to give you stability, which is pretty sweet. So we're making money. We've got advisors. See, we, we, we've ramped up our advisors so much before because we, we had the availability of the 50% off. Like, we're still fine, but we just had so much more mana generation. Here we go. Austria's on the go. <clears throat> okay. 
two years. Hope France doesn't like beat them up too badly. I don't think they will. But between all of these guys, I don't need to turn. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have it set in here, you can go to the colonial map modes. So these map, these islands still count towards our Caribbean uh, colony. So if we steal this one, this one, and this one, we're only one away. So what I hope is that Portugal finishes this one, and then we can start our own, or they can just, like, we could steal their ongoing one. They delete the fort? No, they didn't. They just sieged it. Okay. So you can see here we have the one bonus for the siege. Because this is going. Do we have a better ruler? Oh my god, we have a two siege. So I'm just using these guys to bring in the ruler. Or the. <laughs> the general. Oh, that's right. I'm silly. We didn't get rid of Navarra yet. We're going to do that when we're out of war. Actually, how long do we have? Fifty-nine. No, it's going to be way better. It's one fort siege, probably like a year or two, four years, instead of waiting a whole bunch. Sorry, Navarra. Okay, it's us. Now that we actually have provinces, that's quite funny that uh, we got so many from Portugal. It just goes to show you can help your allies out, and they'll uh, they'll repay you. Okay. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna take all this. We're going to pillage the capital, because that's three, and that's going to put us to 30. That'll give us the other bonus. Okay, that's good. We're going to take that. The land of opportunity to increase our settler chance. And transfer trade power and that, and we'll give up claims. So that's, that's barely anything. Just a step forward towards these gold mines. Nothing for them to explore. We're going to go back to protect trade. We're going to get a merchant back. Kong and Katsina. Okay. So Katsina's over here somewhere. Or we could do Benin. Thagmon Zazu. So those are two little guys up here above them in the darkness. But, uh,. This is going to be where we're going for sure. I think I'll just... Yeah, I'm going to have to white piece Kong. That's unfortunate. Uh... No, I can just take it all in the same war. Yeah, we'll do that. Kong? Timbuktu. too. Yeah, we're just going to take it. Oh, we're just going to take it all. down to actually no because Portugal's almost up March of 87 one year we don't need them getting embroiled in anything down here <coughs> so yeah, what we're going to do is we need to own these provinces before we can click them. And then we can take Joma as well. Joma's the trade center. Alright. Look at this. Making big money now. We're able to, to bring in some cash. We're 
converting things. So you can click on the picture and it'll bring you up to where they are. So we can change this to that. Oh, we've made it a full core accidentally. That's good. But it's got a, a uh, great project on it. So that's just going to go even faster. It's an accepted culture. What's our cooldown on the autonomy click looking like? Oh, I can't do that more. Okay, 20 years. Alright, we got an extra missionary. Yeah, so we're not going to full core these. We're just going to trade center them. We're just converting them. You could just trade center it and be done with it. Not have to worry about converting them, but uh, we've got religious, man. we got to do it. Get it going. Tim look two's out. Sus, what can we do with you? We can claim there. Bring this guy back. Uh, Congo. Should I go over here? Here we go. Stab events, guys. We can do something here. Do we need the manpower recovery? No, we don't, because we're still at max. So our, our dude's just chugging. Look at, let's see how much of the American oh, Brazilians is good. Look at all this. Alright, I'm gonna go back and knock these guys down. These guys will come forward, I'll fight them. We'll beat them. Yeah, they're four. We're seven? This is still plus ultra. Yeah. Yeah, they had the recent rebellion, so I'm not worried about them uprising again. Uh, here we go. Soon. Very soon. diplomats. There's no point putting it in here. Put it on Portugal just for fun. Eh, let's pick it up. Why not? Uh, when is this? March. get that going in a moment. <laughs> Thanks for watching the episode, everybody, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.